So today our volunteers are using our fancy equipment, like our measurements and our chronometers that we have, um, to take measurements of the structure of the trees. So the girth of the tree, the height of the tree, what type of species it is, what type of genus it is, um, how large the crown is, how wide it goes. This information can all be put in through the iTree model and it builds up a picture of what it looks like, literally a model of the tree. And from that we can derive what services it provides, what ecosystem services it provides to us. And this is fantastic because then we can start really factoring in how much our trees are worth and why we need to keep them. This is the first time Trees for Cities have done a entire iTree for a car. And these results will help us take to the Friends of team and to the local council and it will have a monetary figure saying the trees are X valuable and they have X amount of carbon stored in them and they provide X amount of services. The great thing about a project like this is we're trying to engage people that may not normally be um, interested in trees or know their worth or their value to really engage. We want, that, we want to get that message out there for maybe people across London or the rest of the UK that haven't heard about iTree or how to value trees, that they can do a project just like this in their local park with the iTree software. It's all freely downloadable, it's all free for anybody to use and get to grips with.